Hey guys, Phil here with another fabulous commentary. So we have here a few clips. Um, all these are pretty much pretty short. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when your team pretty much knows what they're doing. I love these games where you just, you know, your entire your entire team is just killing it out there. They're doing great. You get a few kills. You die maybe once or twice, and the game's over. Obviously, this doesn't happen every time, but. When it does, it feels pretty good. So we're going to take over these guys pretty soon. You can see my teammates are really doing pretty well. I'm getting assists and stuff. And as you can see, you know, the other team, they're not, they're not all, you know, like low levels. So it's not super un unfair. I've got my basic standard setup, the Warmonger and the Doomhammer. I love using these weapons, they're my favorite. So here we're trying to take back C. Somehow they just managed to get it and I dodged two rockets here. Pretty 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 lucky actually. And right here you see the classic flank. You go from another side that they're not expecting to see you from, and you take it down. And I get killed. This guy's pretty good. He's probably their best player at the moment. And I like, sometimes I like Palace and sometimes I really hate it. Um, it all just depends on the players. You see like there's tons of turrets out there and sometimes you'll see tons of people using rockets and sometimes it really gets to me but usually I like Palace because you get a lot of nade kills. Like usually I'll get more nade kills than I'll get gun kills. So that's something interesting. But yeah, Palace is pretty good pretty good map, I like it. Without fail. Usually I pretty I do pretty well in Palace because Doomhammer is you know what I use most and Doomhammer is pretty good in tight situations like Palace. So they're taking back to C again. So yeah, I check my scoreboard a lot. You might be wondering why I'm always checking it, and it's really useful to know, you know, what teammates are on, are playing, and what which ones are dead and about to spawn. And it's also useful for you know going into the enemy's flag and deciding whether or not you want to go and capture it. Because if you see they're all dead, you might want to wait because if they're about to spawn, you're just going to get slaughtered out there. So using the scoreboard, I like to just make good decisions and also you know sometimes I'll check the scoreboard and wait for everyone to spawn and then I'll throw a grenade and if you do that like you're pretty much guaranteed to get a few kills that guy's using rockets there's just rockets everywhere but they're not doing too much damage on me right here I just take action and just take back C A lot of it's camping. And right here, just one too many people shooting at me. I just wasn't able to do anything. And this is a really good spot. It's a really deadly spot to take people down with. I like to just sit back here sometimes and just unleash, you know, my fury on these guys. Because your entire body is hidden behind this wall and they can barely see you but you can see their entire spawn so you can see them, you can kill them as long as soon as they're spawning but I'm not much of a camper I like to just go out there and get it so I don't sit there for too long I don't know how I died there but yeah, so um, <clears throat> don't really. There's ha you have to like find a middle ground. 
um, you don't want to camp too much and you don't want to rush too much because if you camp you're not going to help your team at all and if you rush all the time you're just going to die out there so you need to just like slowly just progress but not just rush out and die aimlessly so finding that middle ground like right here I rush out a bit and then I sit back and heal up but at the same time I'm always helping my team out so it's just a really good tip to just you know rush out when your team's rushing with with them or you could just sit back for a while but you don't really want to be doing either one too much So right here, um, I avoid the mines. Usually I just walk through them by accident. I'm always like walking through mines, it's, it's ridiculous. I see them, I still walk through them. And you can see I get through to the other base, E. And now I have to defend it. Luckily I get these guys, and the lot in ZFK. One of my teammates was able to get this guy. Like I said, it's great when your team knows what they're doing and they're helping you out. Usually I'm the one pulling all the weight on my on my um, team. But this was really good. We all had a pretty good yes, team effort going and we did well. Next map, this is definitely my favorite map. I love this map because pretty much everything goes. It's not mostly just nades or just rockets. You can pretty much use any gun and it will work. Besides shotgun I would say, but there are some places where you can use shotgun on this map. So you know, you can, if you like sniping, you can snipe here. If you like mid-range weapons, you can use your warmonger or whatever. And if you like short range, you can use your shotgun. It all works here. So I love how everything's pretty much spread out. And rocket launchers don't really work in this map, so I do pretty well because I'm not getting bombarded by rockets. So people just love going through this corridor and taking E. So I'm always weary, just making sure they don't get through. And this guy, Brewston, not cool, man. By this point, he's pretty low on health. And I melee him because that's not cool. And you can see, you know, a few of my teammates also went after him. So they, you know, they know, they know what they're doing. So that's another example of a good team. Try to get that guy. Right here I could have died so easily, but he just missed, so I was looking at that. So I'm waiting, Hope hopefully those things go away, the mine, but I think eventually I just give up. And that guy runs out, I didn't even see him. Uh, thankfully my team took him because, you know, like I said, good team. Great team effort. And I see that red dot, so I decide I'm gonna go in there and hopefully not die by a mine. And that's why you should watch your radar because, you know, if, he's, if he was watching his radar, he probably would have caught me. These two guys, I don't know why they were running. He, they could have taken me, but I don't know why they decided to run away. And right here is the dreadful part. This is where I have to take A. I hate taking A or E because, as you can see, there's a million places to hide. And sometimes campers will just hide here and just wait for someone to try to take A or E. And there's nowhere to hide for me. So I'm out in the open. And it's really hard to defend myself when I'm in this position. But thankfully, nobody spawns here. And I saw this guy a little bit too late, and he was able to take me down, but I did take A, so that was good.
Right here, another huge mistake. I walked, I walked straight, and I didn't zigzag, and I just got killed out there. Just totally annihilated. I should have been, you know, moving around a lot more, and I probably wouldn't have died. The only part about this map that I don't really like is how much walking is involved. If for instance someone started taking E right now, it would take me forever to get down there. So that's one of the minor flaws about this one is just, you know, you get A and then someone flips E, you take back E and someone flips A. So it's like, if your team doesn't, you know, know really what they're doing and they just let players pass through that corridor. It could be a really long game and just really stressful sometimes. Right here you can see like, I checked the scoreboard to see if they spawn or not. And they did spawn so I threw the grenades. So that's a, like a good tip, so if you see everyone spawn, you just throw your grenades in there. Don't, don't use them unless you know that they just spawned. And yeah, we took them down pretty fast. That's a good team effort right there. Alright, so moving on to the next one. So looking at the scoreboard here, I just knew we were going to give it to them. Their entire team is pretty bad. Um, the only guy I know is UG, the UGI guy, UGA, Spartan117. I've played with a few of their clan members and they're pretty good. But he turned out to be just like a noob tube guy. So I don't even know if he's really on the clan. So it's another pretty good tip to be able to look at the scoreboard and just know what you're up against. So we take C right here and we pretty much keep it for the rest of the game. We got pretty lucky against that sniper. That was a dangerous game. Sometimes they get just, you know, they get lucky and there's nothing you can really say because they're sniping. Sniping is super hard. And right here I just walk in this guy's rocket. It's pretty unlucky, but it happens. I don't know if this guy was low on health or I don't know what happened, but I killed him with one hit. So that was that was pretty weird. And this guy's running out, but I didn't see him. And he I don't think he saw me for a while. And I just I killed him and he didn't get any hits on me. And that was that was a little bit of luck on my part. And while they're taking D, I just decided to go for E. And I see this dot and I decided to go take him down. The good old fashioned flank. And I see another dot, so I decide to take him down too. So, yeah, just constantly just keeping my eyes on the radar. People rarely use um, jammer, so the radar is pretty useful. And this guy's shooting rockets from like a mile away. I don't know what he's thinking pretty useless from that distance. That about wraps it up. Another good teammate video. I wish it was pretty much always like this, but you can't really have that, unless you're in a clan or something. But that's that's not really that fun. Because, you know, you get your kills stolen, and you guys just finish the game super fast, and I just, I don't find it that fun. I like doing it the old fashioned way. I'm a pretty old fashioned guy. And as you can see, the other team is pretty bad. They're all really low rank, so I was pretty stoked to see that. You know it's gonna be a good game when all the other teammates are sucky. 
So yeah, we basically unleash on these guys, and I feel pretty bad. I need you. Engage hostiles. I run out for C, and that gurney was in a super bad throw. Take two of them down. That that um, rocket ship killed me, but I don't know what happened. So yeah, I see, you guys will see that I only use two weapons, even though I have premium. I don't know, like, I don't like switching when you have three weapons. I feel like it's not, it's not quick enough. Because if I want to use a Doom Hammer really fast, let's say for instance, I don't want to have to switch twice. And this guy, like, I don't know, he threw a grenade. I think it was he thought it was gonna kill me, but he could have killed me easily, and I didn't see him there. So I don't know how that happened. A lot of luck. I go on a Doom Hammer Rampage here. This is pretty badass, I'd say. And I die from a rocket. Usually that's how it ends, right? Order received. Another rocket, I don't know how I didn't die there. And then right here you see another instance where I wait for all of them to spawn and then I throw the grenade. And because of it I get three kills, just like that. And that guy, I don't know how I didn't see him. He was right in front of me, I didn't see him, and because of that I died. Yeah, no grenade kills right there. That was that's pretty rare. I'm just trying to, you know, go in there, but at the same time not die. And it's pretty hard when there's grenades and rockets flying around, so I, I chill back for a while. I mean, it's a good thing I did because that guy died right in front of me. Med kit is super useful. I love being able to heal up. And I think that guy was trying to melee me, but then he backed off. So that's pretty good. So yeah, just constantly checking the scoreboard, seeing if they spawned yet. And I saw that they were all active, so I threw a grenade. And Threw my other grenade and got two kills, so like I said, just make sure that they're spawned before you throw a grenade in there. And right here I go for B, and they just all spawn at the same time, so I was pretty worried, but my team took care of them pretty well. And right here I should have switched to Warmonger, uh, because I didn't, I died. And then right here I spawn at C, which is really annoying because I could have spawned at B, but I think I pressed the spawn button before they took B, so I'm going for a stroll, you know. And usually taking A is really difficult because you have to walk through that corridor and you know the entire enemy is facing you when you're walking through that corridor, so there really isn't an easy way to get through there. I die from a rocket right here. Um, it's usually how I die anyway, so whatever.
I think I got pretty lucky here. I didn't die from that rocket. I killed this guy. I end up mailing this guy because I didn't want to risk dying from a rocket. And this guy could have killed me pretty easily. And this guy, my team takes him down. So, you know, that just shows you what it looks like when your team knows Most what they're doing. Definitely. And we take them all pretty, pretty well, I would say. We did pretty good. Overall, great gameplay. And that about wraps it up. I hope you guys like my commentary. Feel free to, you know, like, share, subscribe, and I'll be uploading new videos frequently. So thanks, guys. See ya.